back to my channel. If you don't know this beats a girl Kyra B coming at you with a new video. So today we're going to be talking about the movie Challengers. It just came out this past weekend and we need to just talk about it just because the movie ended, you know, anyway, before we even get there. If you don't know what the Challengers is or what the movie is it even gonna be about, if you haven't watched it, it's about three tennis players. Um, really, it's about tennis and you know a trio so if that piques your interest you know and you want to see what it is about you know be my guest and to watch it is starring zendaya josh o'connor and mike fast so you know you got those actors to you know represent these characters so let's let's just talk about this movie when i first watched this movie you know, and, and while I was watching it, I was like, why did the movie start with we're already at, you know, Tashi and Art being married with a child, Lily? And, you know, they're getting ready to play in the um, the challengers, you know, you know, tennis match. So I was like, OK, I thought we we're going to like start from the beginning. Like I thought we we're going to start from like, you know, what happened leading up to this point. But it comes back into the end like it makes sense when you like get to the end of the movie like the last 20 minutes of the movie was like real cinema like everything else was just like okay we're trying to connect the pieces like connect the dots like what's going on here but the last 20 minutes really ties it in together telling me like okay i understand why you went that route with showing us what happened in the beginning so now we're just going to go talk about these characters. So if you haven't watched the movie and don't want to be spoiled, I suggest this is your stopping point. You know, you can, you can come back and watch it, but this is your stopping point. So I was just like, what's going on? You know, why did we start like that? But it makes sense. So in the last 20 minutes with the cinema, you know, we're in the third round or third match between Art and Patrick. The Patrick won the first match, Art won the second match. And then in the third match, we see Patrick basically kind of like, you know, basically missing all his serves. Like he's missing each serve, each serve. You know, Tashi's feeling like this is the point where he's quitting or he's like, you know, giving the, the game to Art. And, you know, Tashi's at the end of her seat because she's like, because he told her, you wouldn't know when I'm, you know, when I'll lose the game for art. So he's missing his serves and I'm just like, okay, is he really gonna lose the game for art? Art like kind of looking like, okay, what's going on here? So then when he hesitates and, you know, he gives a signal of serving like art, cause I was just like, I already knew. I was like, when he hesitates before serving the last time, I was just like, yeah, he's gonna serve like art. He's gonna, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a callback. It's gonna be a parallel to when they were in high school, when he was like, you know, if you and Tashi were together that way, you know, serve like me. And, you know, all those years ago, 15 years ago, 14 years ago, whatever, he made that same serve and, you know, it threw Art all the way off. Tashi doesn't even know the signal because it was only kept between them. So he was just like, you know what? Let him serve. And he's basically gonna get let, you know, Patrick at that advantage. So Art was so pumped up and riled up because he's like, he's not really believing that Tashi would cheat on him. You know, in this day and time with Patrick, like you're basically bluffing. So he's so angry. You know, he's so pumped up. He's just like, you know what? You can have it, you can have it, whatever. So next thing you know, when he hits and serves that ball at Patrick's head, I was like, oh snap, because he really almost hit Patrick, but he got Patrick so amped up, like gave him that passion, which I was just like, okay, he kind of ate that one thing that letting him go out that way. But Tashi doesn't really know what gave him that ammo. 
So when they're like playing so competitively, competitively now, they're like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then Tashi's at the end of her seat, you know, and she's like really in tune with the game because that's where we get to the callback of the game of tennis being like a relationship between the two opponents. So when, you know, Art's about to hit that last ball and, you know, he probably could have won that match, to be honest, if he wasn't like jumping over the net. Art was about to hit the last ball and he's like almost jumping over the net to like hug and Patrick, you know, they both laugh and like, you know, they seem very happy with everything. Like, cause it's been what, eight years or so of, or really of them not really chatting with each other. So like what, 15 years, they haven't seen each other, really talked with each other really, like in a friendly way. So I guess this was like them, like really becoming friends again. Um, so, you know, and then Tashi's like saying, come on. And to be honest, we were just, as audience, we're just so in tune because we want to know what happens next. It was so intense, like the intensity, you know, when the the point of view of us being the, the tennis ball, like it was so intense. It was like cinema, like if anything, that should get awards for that. And especially the score of this movie, like they ate that. The score was so really keeps up the momentum of the movie or what happens. So Tashi, you know, got, you know, some good tennis at the end of the day. You know, Art and Patrick, you know, were on cordial terms at this point in time. I'm not sure if Art really, you know, essentially believes what Patrick, you know, signaled to him that up between him and Tashi. I don't know if he really believes it. I feel like he just believes that's a bluff, but obviously he's very passionate about Tashi that I guess that that's enough to get him riled up. Like he don't play about her. <laughs> like he don't play about Tashi. But everything leading up to this moment, like when they first meet at that tennis match and you know, when Tashi kind of like discusses, you know, what is tennis to her? Why did she scream? you know, da 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 da, you know, it kind of like, it gets back in the circle. And then, and essentially the entire movie was like a tennis match, you know, back and forth, back and forth between, you know, where we first meet Pat, Patrick, Art and Tashi, you know, the whole hotel scene, which was kind of like, okay, why did we hear that story? Why did we hear that anecdote between Patrick and Art just before, you know, the whole, you know, three-way kiss situation and which you know Tashi orchestrated that like she saw I guess the relationship between them that she was satisfied and then she got up and was like okay I'm leaving but let's make this parallel because Tashi seemed a lot more interested in art she knew art's stat in tennis he like she knew who art was before you know a formal introduction when at, in the hotel she was like you know you can beat him you know she and he's like you know you know do you want me to win like do you want me to beat him da, 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 da. like we can that can that's really attest to art's character like he basically will do whatever tashi says kind of in a sort of way which is like okay that's really like showing the parallels to how he is the night before the match. So she, she's essentially like, she barely like pays Patrick any mind. Like Patrick is a good tennis player. That's where he, how he wins these challenges, you know, challengers and tennis matches, you know, and gets to where he is. But I don't, I feel like Tashi knows that Art has this potential that seems like he's not tapping into, that he could be even better than what he is now. And I feel like without any motivation or, you know, passion, he's really like wasting his potential. And I think she sees it in him. So we fast forward to when they're at Stanford and, you know, Patrick's doing his tennis tour, you know, Tashi and Patrick, Tashi and Art are at Stanford. And, you know, I guess, 
they finally get to chat he pulls her for lunch and he basically kind of manipulates tries to manipulate the relationship between patrick and tashi in sense of saying like oh patrick doesn't love tashi and that's where tashi's like who says i need someone to love me like like who like where do you where, do you, where is that coming from like it's very obvious that you're trying to just break patrick and i up just so you can get me and it's just like you know she gets upset she walks away and it's basically it's done there like she wasn't you know taking his manipulation like she already saw through it when patrick comes in and they're eating the churros and he's kind of like impressed that you know art even tried to manipulate the situation or try to break up you know patrick and tashi you know he was impressed by it like he didn't he didn't show any malice like he wasn't like oh I'm mad at you or anything like that. It is what it is. So when we get to the dorm scene between Tashi and Patrick, their argument wasn't fueled by art at all. Their argument was fueled by Tashi just being tennis driven, like 24 seven, like she doesn't shut it off. They're doing their thing and she's still talking about tennis. She then gets upset and says that, you know, Patrick sucks at tennis. So, like they have a little riffraff or whatever and he ends up leaving and not showing up to her match get to the match she breaks you know her knee breaks her knee her knee splits open that scene was very shocking and who's there art art's there in her vul most vulnerable time in her time of need where her boyfriend patrick should have been there art was there so they had an argument she's already upset because this knee injury literally damaged her career you know when patrick shows up and be like he tried to be there for tashi now you know they both be like get out of this room like we don't want you here so and that kind of like cemented that relationship that relationship over with so when you see art and tashi just practicing tennis trying to like do her recovery you know, she can do, you know, regular tennis, but she can't do tennis at a professional, a professional pace. You know, she just can't do it at a professional pace. It's just not gonna, it's not in, in the cards for her anymore. Um, so it, it's just not there. It's just not there. So, you know, we see her break down. She goes by the tree and that shot, I felt like the shot was like panned on it a little too long, but the scene was like signifying that like she's really sad like this knee injury really cements her because before we even see Tashi gets into the cut we just see like a, a tree stump just sitting there for like a good five seconds before Tashi so I'm like okay like when is you know somebody gonna get into the the frame so next thing you know we got that I'm just basically like trying to like talk about the whole timeline of this whole situation. We get this, then three years go by since the incident. You know, she ends up seeing Art again. You know, Art and her go on a date to Applebee's and she basically asks Art like, you know, do you still love me? Are you gonna love me? Whatever. He doesn't answer the first time, she asked the second time. And then he was like, who wouldn't? So basically she was still interested in art. Like this is for people who be like, oh, she never loved art or she don't really care for art, da 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 da. She kind of seeked out an answer for him. Like you wouldn't seek out an answer if you don't care about the guy at all. Like, okay. And then she's the one who walked up to him at the Jeep and basically initiated the kiss because he was like, he feel like he was going to be a bad friend if he did kiss Tashi. So and she was like, to who? Because you haven't seen Patrick since my injury. <laughs> like, or you haven't really talked to him since my injury. So like, what is it? What is it? Um, it we also get a, a call back or parallel to her saying that she didn't want to be a homewrecker because she's basically saying, I'm not a homewrecker. I'm not a homewrecker because she noticed that Patrick and Art have some type of relationship and her coming into that relationship where they're like basically both fighting over her in a sense she's like I'm not a homewrecker so I'm not gonna be like I'm not trying to be in this but 
you know, she ends up still being in this and, you know, essentially kind of broke up their friendship of a home or whatever. Um, so there's a lot of parallels to this, in this movie, a lot of things that we kind of like get talked about. Um, but I'm talking about, there's like people like, there's which side are you on in terms of Art and Tashi, Art and Patrick. And I was team Art, okay? I was team Art before the movie came out, team Art. When I saw the movie, team Art. When I left the movies, still team Art, okay? Still team Art. Like, okay? Patrick, this man is cosplaying homeless you know sleeping in his car you know he's trying to come up on his own which is understandable but you're at a point where you're using tender to find a place to sleep you're begging somebody for half a piece of their bagel you know you need something you need some type of help like what are you doing what are you doing what are you like what are you doing and then not only are you a bad friend you know tashi and art just got engaged and you asked about the grandmother she passed away from a stroke you make out of tashi 2011 you come back again 2019 to basically ask tashi to be your coach Tashi is already arts manager slash coach or whatever. Well, I think it's arts manager right now, but you know, basically also coaches art. You want her to come coach you? Like, are you okay? Like you're really trying to take his wife, like be for real. And then after all of that, you know, the whole, you know, trying to lose I feel like the only morality he had or something that was like really to him that like he's really like respects was that he doesn't want art to win by default. He wants art to win be or win or lose because of his own merit. So he definitely did not like that when she suggested it and whatever. Tashi now, uh, I feel like Tashi did art dirty in 2011 because man's just proposed. If you don't want to be in a relationship with man's, you could have leave. Like, who was holding you down? And I believe Lily wasn't born yet. So you weren't tied down to art. You could have left. You could have said no before Patrick even came into the frame to see you at the, the hotel restaurant. So... You doing that to man's on the night of your engagement or, you know, our recently engaged situation is messed up. And then the night before the match was also much messed up. Like, okay. Like, okay. But mm, I'm not even going to lie you, but I feel like the one after you got engaged to was just messed up. Then, art. People want to say that he's manipulative, but like, he stopped doing that manipulative stuff since he left college like it was done for like he didn't even contact tashi for three years he was on his own thing tashi entered his life okay three years later art was minding his business he wasn't talking to patrick he wasn't talking to tashi three years he was minding his business tashi entered into his life as you know a coach they meet at the same grounds they go out on a date to albies and asked if you know if he was still in love with her okay she came back. She came back around. She knew where home was, okay? She knew where home was, okay? Because Art wasn't messing with Notashi. Art left her be. He wasn't looking for her. They was not in contact for three years, okay? Three years. And you're telling me Art's at fault here? Art, Art's not at fault. I will say the night before... The match where he's asking Tashi, you know, um, would you love me or would you leave me, like, if I lose his match or whatever. And, you know, yeah, I guess he needed her to, like, build his confidence up a bit. And I guess she's just like, I don't want to do that for you. Like, would you, would you like to hear, like, yes, I will leave you 
if you lose or whatever and you know he's like she's like comforting him and stuff like that i feel like i can understand like where that kind of feels a bit cringy like you know stand up be a man <laughs> like what are you doing like you know needing to be comfort that way but i feel like when he says like you know i i know i've been playing tennis for the both of us you know i feel like tashi loves art but she also resents the fact that art has the career that she wants i guess looking at the news or seeing that the media basically say that art and this other girl was like the next big thing in tennis she kind of feels a little bit remorseful like you know that could have been her if she didn't get an injury so essentially i guess when patrick came just in that time of seeing that i guess she just felt like okay well this is her time to get back at him or something like that also with the fact that i mean i guess her coaching him or basically helping him because she's like you know when he was on the rise the three years after the injury and she's like you know i'm coaching this person but you know i could be your coach you know and i guess he, she was his coach and you know together he became the successful guy and at the end of the day when she's like writing the book or getting the cover for the book she changes from game changer to game changers to like basically signify that she's as much you know as important to arts you know success and career because she's kind of like the one helping art it's not just art by himself it's art and tashi you know what i'm saying so i guess her changing it is just to show adding that as to show that she's just as important to his career as he is um so i feel like she does resent the fact that art does have the career that she wants but then him not playing with the passion or him kind of like fizzling out at this point and not playing with the potential that he has is kind of like, you know, why she's like, you know what, you can do a challenger. And, you know, as she knew who was playing the challenger before he was a wild card. And I guess that's her way of also orchestrating the relationship between um, her, Patrick and Art again, because she orchestrated that scene in the hotel just like she's orchestrating this setup of art and patrick playing again in this final wall card so yeah that's basically showing her position in this movie there's a lot of parallels between art and tashi that's why i'm also team art and tashi sorry um i will say when patrick gave her you know his number and she put in her pocket. Because I'm just like, why are you putting in your pocket? If you didn't want to call him, you would crumple that up and throw it away. You would crumple that up and throw it on the ground and walked off, okay? You put it in your pocket looking all like I knew you were about to call him. And then after her and Patrick did another deed of infidelity, she comes back, sees Art and Lily, you know, sleeping. Like, you know you feel so remorseful that you just did Art dirty like that the night before this big game. But Art ate Patrick up when he said, I'm just passing by, you live here. Like, you think this was when we were in high school, when we were in college? No. You think you can intimidate me? No. Like, I'm just needing this to go to my US Open. You live in these challengers. This is your bread and butter, literally. Your bread and butter. You're saying that if you win this challenger, you can get $7,000, which is great because you are broke, okay? But for him, if he loses, so what? He's still on the rise to be at the U.S. Open, all right? He, he, he fine, you know? So at the end of the day, he ate Patrick up with that because Patrick thought he was big swing. Like, how you big swing? Like, sir, sit down, sit down. You know what I'm saying? I felt like also in the beginning of the movie where you just see Art like kind of silent for the most part. Like he doesn't even speak to Tashi like when they wake up. Like Tashi just tells him like, oh, let's go, whatever. Like and then when, you know, they're about to do the match and he looks back at Tashi, he doesn't really say anything. So I'm just like, does he know something that we don't? Like does he, does he have like an inkling of what happens? Because the scene where they're in Atlanta and he sees Tashi and Patrick at the table. And then I guess somebody asked him for the, you know, his autograph. 
he turns his head back and as soon as he turns his after he signs the autograph turns back they're gone so i'm just like does he have something in the back of his mind like that something is going on without him like something's going on like he doesn't know anything about it so it is what it is i I believe the movie, it makes sense. Like once you get to the last part of the movie, it really ties in together. And I guess upon a second watch, you kind of like go in knowing, okay, this is, this is why this is happening. Like this is why it's tying it. You know, it makes sense. Like, yeah, this was a really nice movie. I mean, I wouldn't say it was like, you know, in your face, like this was like a classic, but I feel like the challengers as a whole, like, it's a movie that like you can watch over again and enjoy and I guess that's really what the movie's about I guess in the sense of you know it's not something like okay oh my gosh this was like groundbreaking information no it's just like a movie on like dynamics between characters like character dynamics and how they like affect each other in a sense you know at the end of the day Tashi got her good tennis you know you know, Art and Patrick are on cold returners, like I said, and we don't really know. I mean, I feel like Art loves Tashi so much that I don't think they're gonna divorce or anything separate if he does find out for real that there is infidelity between Patrick and her. So at the end of the day, he's still winning because what's going on here? Um, but yeah. Challengers was actually a really good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, I feel like the score and the cinematography definitely should get some awards from it because they really did eat it up. I would say seeing Zendaya in like a different acting film was really in a nice light. You know, something that's outside of Spider-Man or, you know, I guess Euphoria or something else like something different you know fitting that fits you know seems different on her which is like okay interesting um yeah so it was a good movie um if you want to see a movie about three tennis players you know with these different dynamics different and intertwined you know nuance dynamics then you know this is a movie for you if you don't want to see a movie about three tennis players and these nuanced dynamics between them, yeah, don't watch. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Tashi Art. Tashi Art here. Tashi Art. There's a lot of parallels between Tashi Art. Um, also, her even going out of her way to even tell Patrick that, you know, you should lose the, the match tomorrow also shows how much she cares about art like if she didn't care about art she wouldn't have forced or asked patrick to do such a thing people are saying like oh the thing is is that she does love tennis more but she does love art you wouldn't be with art for you've been together you've been i guess engaged and married since 2011 you've been with him since 2009 10 ish you know you wouldn't be with him for almost 10 years. You know, almost 10 years. If you didn't really love and care about him, like you are not locked down in this relationship. Like, and don't say it's because of his career, his tennis career that she's staying with him. Like, nah, she could have find somebody else on the rise and coach them to greatness, okay? But it's obviously something about art that she really likes. And she knows that his potential. She said it since the host hell. She knows his potential. Like, she keeps tabs on her dude. Like, don't say she don't keep tabs on art. She keeps tabs on art. That's her dude. He knows her home is, okay? That's my review on Challengers. And if you guys like the video, like the video. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns. And subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. And if you guys watching this video. Peace.